the difference between physical hunger and emotional hunger and, and then more practically speaking being able to tell the difference between the two because you know it seems like if you have the physiological component of binge eating going on where you actually have those hunger hormones and hunger signals increased you know to, to me you know and this could be wrong correct me but that seems like it's more on the actual side of physical hunger whereas like the the more psychological side that you're talking about seems like it could be a little bit more swayed by emotional hunger so so what are the differences between the two and how does somebody who's you know f facing this how do they tell that difference mm -hmm. yeah i would say that one of the main um discriminators is what um how the hunger appears mm -hmm. So, for example, when it's emotional hunger, usually it just appears right away and you feel like you have to satisfy it right mm -hmm. away. And also you feel that you ne it needs to be satisfied with something specific, mm -hmm. like you're going to crave chocolate or, or cookies or something like that. But when we talk about uh, physical hunger, then it usually comes more gradually. I've heard many people saying that hunger is not the emergency. And in a way, it is uh, in that way because hunger will come gradually. And even if you don't feed it right away, therefore your body has mechanisms to, you know, to switch the, uh, the source of fuel. So maybe you're gonna start burning um, fat instead of glucose, for example. Um, and also this type of hunger is usually satisfied with whatever food. So you may uh, ask yourself like, okay, if I, uh, if right now I would have uh, an apple, would I eat an apple? If that's an emotional mm -hmm. hunger, then you would probably say like, eh, no, I want, I want chips, I want ice cream. But if that's physical hunger, then even something less palatable would still um, sound good to you. Mm -hmm. um, also physical hunger may be associated with like specific physical sensations. And I think that for each person, it might look a little bit different because uh, when we have slightly lower blood sugar level, it may show up differently for, for other people. Right. Uh, but usually with, with emotional hunger, maybe you have something more like agitation, restlessness, yeah, like you feel like you need to, uh, to do something. Uh, also, uh, of course, the physical hunger would be more located in your, in your stomach. Like you would literally feel a little bit um, empty and maybe you would even, even uh, hear your stomach rumble. However, the emotional hunger would be more located above the neck. Like you have those obsessive thoughts that, oh, I have to satisfy it uh, right now. So I would say that those would be the, the main uh, differences. That's great. And I think that's super practical because, I mean, it seems like you could use those two things as a litmus test to, to figure out if you are dealing with this or not. So, you know, if you are experiencing hunger and you're not sure, you could think about the different types of foods. Like, you know, if I were to have a, you know, a more savory food versus a sweet food or something like that, or, you know, if I were to have a salad, would that quench my craving or would it not? 